And so it turns out the orbits of a three-body problem are mathematically chaotic. Yes. I was about to say, that did not seem very stable. <laughs> Something has to give. Well, this is this is in the series. What Some, we're talking something, about? Something I don't. I haven't seen the series. I know. I'm just saying something has to give. That's awful. Two of these are going to collide. Right. One is going to get ejected. Right. Okay. That is the classical three body problem. Three objects of approximately similar mass trying to maintain a stable, a stable orbit. orbit, and it goes chaotic with just three objects. Look at that. It is an unsolvable. You can. Let me say that differently. You can calculate incrementally what's happening and track it until the system dies right. or, or, or splits apart or whatever. But you cannot analytically predict the future of the three-body system because what chaos will do for you in your mathematical model is if you change the initial conditions by a little bit, right. a little bit, the solution diverges. Further down the line, it goes, it goes crazy. crazy. It's not just a little bit different later right, on down the exactly. line. Right, exactly. It, it is, is exponentially, exponentially different. different. Correct. Wow. With the, with the smallest increment of distance. Right. So I'll say, I'll move you in this direction, in this model, and then in a slightly different direction in the other model, it goes chaotic. That's what we mean by chaos. Right. Okay. Okay. It's mathematically yeah. defined. Okay. Okay. So now there's something called the restricted three-body problem. Oh, all right. Okay. Okay. All the restricted right. people. The right problem. Never heard. You have. Give me your two. Your two things back. Okay. Two planets. You got that. Okay. Two bodies. You got your two bodies. Now, the third body is little. Uh huh. Now you two will orbit each other. Right. Okay. And the, and then this, it's not messing with them. Right. So so there's restricted three body problem. We have two masses of approximately equal, and one that's much less than the other two. That is solvable. Right. Called the restricted three body problem. Gotcha. In the Star Wars case, that's the restricted three body problem. Right. Because you have the two stars and you have the little planet. The little so planet. It's there no it big is. Deal. And it's even better because the planet is so far away that it only really saw one merged gravity of the two 